get ready to rumble. Off we go. Best not to back over anybody. Mackie's car park. Who's it focusing on? Well, me, obviously. You know, being the star of the show. Me. I can't see that no. bloody bush. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hi. back Hi. to a new video. We're in the car with Mum. So, Mark, back by popular demand. Uh, the demand being me demanding to be in a video. Yeah. Basically, usually whenever we've done a drive with me, it's been me driving because I'm a learner driver. Look at this cheeky sod. Oh, oh my God. I know. Careful we don't run him over. Well, I think, well. No, look at him, he's only small. I, I know, but highway code. Oh, was he going? Oh, yeah, he's probably he, old and he didn't He pulled out in front of me, yeah. Oh, right. Basically, we did drive with me to where I was a learner driver. I'm still a learner. Obviously, with lockdown, we haven't been driving. My dad has not insured my car, so we, it, we've not been driving we it. We redeemed the tax as well because we weren't using it. We may as well get our money yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to be driving very soon, and we might do some more drive with me then. I'm hoping and try by the way, it will be shaky. I'm going to try and see if we can, you know, try and pass our test before Christmas. Isn't that the plan? Me and well, Tommy. If it's like one of those things where you have to just go all in. It's yeah, like, just get it done and it's a life, it is a skill. It's a life skill you've just got to do. Just get on, get yeah. it done, tick, move um, on. Considering my uni is going to be online for the first semester, I think that's a perfect time because I can't like have driving lessons or tests if my uni is not online because it's just too stressful in my brain. So yeah, we're driving with mum this time. She's driving, so I don't think we're going to have any crashes or near misses. Well, you know, I am an experienced driver. I've been driving now for 27 years, so I've only had one bump in that time, and that was very gentle. My um, headlight got smashed, and the only other thing is I've took my wing mirror off because I could a bit fine going down a back street somewhere. No, oh. but famous last words. Watch this space. We will see. Yeah, but that would be quite a coincidence if we did catch it on camera. Oh man. Um, if it gets dark sometimes it's obviously the lighting. Yeah, you know. it's really sunny outside. It'd really, it'd be better if this was like a cloudy but, day. But you know, you can still hear what we're saying. Well, I'm hoping to edit this video today and then post it tomorrow. Um, better do. But it obviously depends how long this video is because editing actually does take quite a long time. I do actually drive Georgie absolutely crazy when I feature in a video. When's it going up, Georgie? When's it going up? Yeah. She's like, oh yeah, it's going up this afternoon. It's, be it, it's because... And then like, and it doesn't go up. I'm like, Georgie! When's the video going up? She's like, oh yeah, I didn't get time. I'm like, do it. Do it. Do it. It's because I've got to... <laughs> It, slash love it. I'm just plain lying. Huh? I mean, I, 
Oh my god, that learner in front is like almost in the field. Oh my god. Ah, lol. <laughs> Mum, I would stay back a little. I know. See, this is um, a drive with <gasps> us. What? Sorry, that's just moving off to the left again. How, How can you be you? that bad? I know. Like, this is a straight line. It probably turns out it's the instructor and he's texting. <laughs> yeah, just that's like, wait. Oh my god, they're going right over again. Oh my god. And as an instructor, I'd be absolutely bricking it right now. Yeah, because you feel like you have to go over this side because you feel like you're on the other, you know, you don't want to be, oh dear. Well, I think you should stay back a little in case they end up doing emergency stuff or I something. I bet their backside's sweating a huge amount. Both of them. Yeah, they clearly are very new. They've not been on the road before. I'm getting seeing they've not been on the road before. Okay, so now we're down to 30 miles an hour. I think, oh bless. We've all been there. Yeah, but I don't think I was that bad. Jordi, we went to Puddle Spa without getting above third gear. <laughs> yeah, but I still wasn't veering across the other road every two seconds. Oh, I don't know. Where can I put my chair? I in? wasn't really with you in the early stages. You can wrap it in that receipt. Okay. Thanks. Oh, you're doing well, love. You're doing well. Hydration is key. Oh, I like it when dogs have got their heads out the window. Mm. Oh, of course, she was loving that. Yeah, we know this dog called Charlie, and basically it was in the car, and um, the window was slightly down, and he jumped out the window. Little monkey. <laughs> yeah. Not in our car. Yeah, well. <laughs> Probably see who is worthy. So it's the moment. <laughs> so I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going for a meander with my pood. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. It's been pooed. I'm pooed. Everybody must know that this is pooed by now. I'm pooed. Your mum calls me pooed. Georgie calls me mum. I don't have a double chin this time because I lost weight since my last drive with me. Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm about the same. Yeah. I did lose weight and then I put it back on again. Well, not no. I, no, I haven't put How it all much back do you on. Eat? I haven't put it all back on. How do you manage to do that? What have you been eating? Well, I've just been eating. You have to eat 3,500 calories to gain a pound. To be fair. And that's above your normal maintenance calories. So that would, for me, mean eating about 5,500 calories. We've had a lot of homemade pizza lately. Mm. And I had, I've had two days in Scarborough, which both occasions meant fish and chips. But I can't it. And on one occasion, oh. it meant a massive ice cream as well. I eat a huge amount of veg in my diet. More veg than I'd say fruit. Oh yeah, you're not meant to eat loads of fruit anyway because of the sugar. That's right. And I've got to be careful of the enamel on my teeth as well. Like sugar, like fruit is good for you, but not in excessive amounts. Whereas you can eat quite a lot of vegetables, but you can't eat like quite a lot of fruit. Well, you can, but you're not meant to. Georgie's health tips tips with G. She's a total not a lifestyle guru at the moment. Why? Well, he, healthy eating guru probably. Oh yeah. Possibly the better term. But yeah. Geordie can talk for hours about calories and calorie no, deficits and what's in this and what's in that. She nearly didn't come down for tea last night because she wouldn't be able oh, to calculate. Oh no, I was going to come down for tea oh. but I, I just know, I like to know what, what the calories are. So yeah. Easy. And also I think it's nice to know what calories are in things because then you can understand where there's like excessive calories and things i think last night's tea was pretty healthy actually they oh yeah look it but it was like i don't mind how it going over my calorie allowance in the day but i would just rather know how many is in something yeah because somebody messaged me they were like oh i've been going to the gym for over a year and i go and i well obviously during lockdown they wouldn't but before then they were going like three or four times a, a week and they're saying they didn't lock, they didn't lose any weight mm -hmm. but you're not going to lose weight if you're not changing what food you eat you have to eat less like if you're not in a calorie deficit then you're not going to lose weight so there's no point like the gym's not going to help you no, do you know what i say about that in my little catchphrase what if it's not going in it's not going on oh right yeah yeah. It took me ages to figure out that. Yeah, if you don't put the calories in, it's not going to go on your ass, is it? Yeah, because some people think that if they're going to the gym, then that means they can eat whatever they want, but it doesn't, because the calories you burn in the gym is actually not as many as you would think. It and does make you hungry though, doesn't it, doing workouts Oh yeah, stuff? because yeah, you are still burning started. calories, but not as many as you think. And you can soon eat that back with a few packets of crisps. Indeed you. I don't eat crisps because they don't feel like they, don't, they just don't see like serve a purpose. They what? just don't fill you up. What is your biggest vice when it comes to food? What does that mean? Well, what's the thing that you find really hard to resist? 
your food that you're like, oh, Rocky Road that Mum made. Um, oh, two past eight. Hmm. That was good, not gonna lie. Pizza. That's probably it, to be fair. That's, I mean, when it's the kind of thing where you want more after you've eaten it, whereas most things I can eat it and I don't want more, I've just eaten it. But when it comes to Rocky Road, I want more. But what I have found is that if you eat healthier foods, you won't be craving like anything more. So like you're, when you're full, you're full, you won't want more. Or if you have like, a, like I made my blueberry muffins, once I've had one of those, I won't want any more of anything else. Whereas if I had like a chocolate bar, I would then want something else. I don't know what it is. It's probably some chemicals in it that makes you want more. God, I'm so pleased I'm not sweet too. I mean, I do like chocolate and, and desserts and stuff. Yeah, but I, I don't know. go crazy for them. I don't look like I really crave them. It's nice to have a little bit of something sweet when you've had a meal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't go crackers for desserts. No. Um, and plus, they don't really add to your diet in a really good way. Like, nutritionally, yes. it's not good for you. So therefore, your calories that you should have in the day, majority should be like carbs and um, vegetables and dairy and stuff, not puddings. I made a rhubarb and apple pie about a month ago and I made it all butter pastry and it came out of the oven. I thought, oh, I'll try a bit. Well, I just couldn't leave it alone. Absolutely yeah. couldn't leave it alone. I'm not going to lie, it's one of the best things I've ever made. Mm. It what, was was it, what was it called? It was just a rhubarb pie. Nan, oh, rhubarb. Nan Pat gave me some rhubarb, so I just oh. made a really buttery pastry. Buttery and I'm, Yeah, I'm going to bore people, but I made the pastry using self-raising flour, so the pastry wasn't really dense. It was just really nice texture. And I just, the filling was just, it was slightly sharp, but it was sweet at the same time. It was just non. So yeah, involuntary, ended up having two pieces. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whereas dad would have the entire thing. Yeah. He's had half a crumble in one sitting once. Mm. I've gone way to the kitchen, I mean, albeit not a massive crumble, but I've gone in and I was like, bloody hell, there's half of it gone, where's it gone? And he's like, oh yeah, it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Fatty bum bum. Tootling along. Oh, the world is not clear. Tootling and scrootling. Tootling and scrootling. I've gone for a bold lippy today. No. Yeah. I, I literally did my makeup in 10 minutes just before we left. I've gone for a bold eyeshadow as well, I should really show you what I'm driving. Yeah, you can show them when we pull up. Yeah. When we when we stop. Yeah. Finet. No. Should be either or, shouldn't it? Not both. No, because it's only a plain silvery shade, so. Yeah, that's really your body shop palette. I really like that. I can't oh, really? believe you gave that to me. Yeah. Thanks. I've got loads of palettes. You Even have. though I still want I've Tarty's palettes. I've got loads palettes. of palettes. Yeah, Mum's got more than me. I've got, got seven. Oh, what? Oh, what a knob. Bye-bye. Yeah. Some of that. Literally, I haven't got going and it's overtaking me That's on a country funny. road. I'm very intolerant of crap drivers. I get very angry. Keep it together, Pam. So, what you got to report? Who, me? Yeah. What's new with you? Any news? Any news? New news? I don't know. Apart from the fact that I managed to fix my laptop from stroking it. <laughs> Basically, my SD card, I noticed that my laptop wasn't recognising my SD card from my camera, which obviously is not good because then I can't film videos. So I thought maybe it's my SD card. And if so, that's fine because it cost me like £3 for an SD card. STD card. An STD card. And then... If it's a problem with my laptop, that's a whole different story. But it turns out it was a problem with my laptop. And I tried everything online, because sometimes when I have issues with my laptop, I research it online and I'm actually able to sort it out and figure it out. So always do that, research online, because sometimes some good things do come up. Yeah. Um, but nothing worked. And then I, one day I just sat down and I thought, I'm just gonna stroke my laptop. So I tipped it upside down. Obviously your laptop was looking very alluring that day. No, no, I, no, I was trying to fix it. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I tipped it upside down and where the SD card is, I like rubbed it because I thought maybe there's some kind of parts or something that, uh, I just don't have a clue. She and just then, wanted to touch up her laptop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying to fix it. And then I turned it back over and then I put my SD card in and it worked. And it's been working ever since. There you go. Top tip of the day. Exactly. 
So if you need anything fixing, you know um, what to do. Stroke your laptop. <laughs> but it wasn't a stroke, it was like pressing. Aww. So I'm not sure, but it's fixed, that's all that matters, otherwise yeah. this video wouldn't be able to go up. The amount of times this camera is going to be moving is unreal. I know. It's a very bendy road I've chosen. It's probably yeah. a bit of an error. Oh. I could have took you to the house that we're going to look around tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where is it? East Parkwood. Oh. Is it that bungalow? Yeah. I, who else is looking around it? Uh, Tommy said he might come. Can I, what? Is anybody else going? No, it's not an open day. It's actual private viewing. Ah. Can it ha ha how many people are allowed to view it? I have no idea, but as well if you want. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. We'll have to leave by about half nine. How long would it take? What, to do the viewing? Yeah. We should be back in Lincoln by quarter past 11, half 11. You're right. That's probably overestimating it. You've got to wear face mask and gloves though for the viewing. Oh right. Yeah. Because it looks really good. It does look good. I showed Jamie it and he said it looks good. I know, well. I showed Tommy it. He didn't realise that we were actually seriously viewing. He thought it was just, you know, we've just tickled about over the years yeah. looking at things and like, yeah, yeah, and then, oh yeah, it's old now. We are seriously thinking about this one. It's, yeah, because this is the only one that you've actually shown that I actually really like. You did like it. You were like, oh my god, it's like a holiday. Yeah, it looks like a holiday. And I showed Jamie and he's like, whoa, that looks good, really it does good. Look good. It's like really every nice single picture. Well. It's a what price? It's a good price. Why, well, what's not, Dad offered the price they're no, asking? No, we're not offered anything yet. We've got to look. Oh, right. But yeah, it because I looked at it online the other week and he says, how much do you think that I is? I thought, uh, no, l let me tell you before you say anything. Oh. When I looked at that, I didn't know what the price was when I was looking through the pictures and I thought that would be like well over 300 grand. Yeah. But it's, well, how much is it? It's well, how much did I guess? I think I guessed 275. I don't know how much it's up for. And uh, it turns out it was up for 240. It literally went on the internet and sold within a couple of hours. They yeah. didn't even get time to get the for sale board up outside. There still isn't a for sale board up outside. And uh, yeah, screw it, we'll have a drive out there. Screw it! And, uh, oh, well, if we're going tomorrow, do you want to wait till tomorrow? Yeah, can do. I'll just ask right. Jamie if he wants to do anything tomorrow or not. Okay. But then if Check I'm back first. at that time, then it'll be okay, because obviously it's his birthday off in six days. Oh, God, days, yeah, yeah. It's not a problem if I don't go, because I've seen the images, but yeah. Yeah, I can always take you out separately. And yeah, look. it's just yeah. I want to look inside. I, I can't remember what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, so it literally sold within, like, two hours of going online. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we really liked it and thought, well, it's already sold. It was sold, it's saying sold on the internet. And um, we just got in touch to say, look, if this sale falls through, we are interested. Please contact us but they were like well actually the buyers pulled out I'm like, hang on oh, why no, no, no. it's actually the best i thought it would be over 300 grand but only because like or it's probably less because it's a bungalow but i thought was going to think it was going to be over that amount just because of like how nice everything is and it's very spacious and all the rooms are spacious but i think it's less because there's only two bedrooms that is the only snag yeah and Even it is though, a little bit of a long way out of lincoln why is that a work. snag well because want you and Tommy to come and stay with us or people to stay with us like Shane coming over to stay yeah but there's stuff. a separate bedroom for that you know what I, I mean? know well at the moment Tommy's pretty much a permanent resident isn't he apart from when he's yeah. at uni he'll come home to us the bloody cyclist and yeah, they're the, the, that's the kind of thing where it's just like are you gonna buy a house just for other people to come over I know it's not I think there is the scope to actually put an extension on to be honest and even so like or going I'm sure you know you were like hell i'll keep in the kitchen exactly it's big enough yeah but yeah and so i that's probably my favorite place i've ever seen the thing is there's always some jammy git who gets in there before you my god how much room mind you to be fair it's a bit potholy yeah yeah sorry cyclists i won't slag them off because sometimes that's me on the bike on this route yeah. <laughs> and i'm like motorists yeah so hopefully yeah oh please but anyway it might be something about it that we really don't like and a bad feeling but we've looked around the outside already and we thought well yeah we've got loads of space and it's just the kitchen looks so good it, like there's an island in the kitchen and the living room looks so good yeah like they're my favorite places and the bathroom's big so it, it, that's all that matters to me well, it's two is bedrooms the living got room bathroom kitchen each. bathroom got a, both of them have actually got a bathroom each. oh my god I don't think back in I don't think you should I think Ark is what gonna come up in a second back again. What do you I think? personally if I was dad 
and I had the money, I would buy that. <laughs> because the garden's big and it just looks like a holiday home. Yeah. And if you were to live there, oh, that's just cool, isn't it? Yeah, like I say, some other gear will get in there like, before How us. often do we have people to stay? Like, not really, like, not loads of people. I mean, just like, if yeah. we had one person, then you could say, oh, Tommy, would you mind sleeping on the floor in your bedroom for one night? Yeah. Well, to be honest, once we get moved and we've got more outdoor space, we're actually going to buy a camper van. It's always an option to book somebody in there if needs be. The camper van can be used as an extra bedroom. Exactly. Obviously, it's not very good in Like, it's not very it. often that I look at a house and then every single room looks really good. It did, it looked amazing. Nice and I showed Jamie and he was shocked as well. Yeah. Like, you can tell when you show somebody something and, and they're like, oh, not just, oh, yeah, yeah that's nice. Well, it, it's unusual for you to go, oh, yeah, because you're not good. interested in anything that isn't in the town. Oh, oh no, but, you know, I'm not going to live there. I, I would live there, but I'm not going to be living there, but I would live there. She's too untidy to live there. I won't let her. No, the only reason why I'm untidy, I'm not untidy, it's just I have a lot of stuff in a small space, so it's tidy, no, you're it's organised. Your flat is tidy, but when you come and stay with us, oh yeah, no, you no. have a bath and your clothes yeah, stay on the bathroom floor until the next day. Yeah, but if that was at mine, it wouldn't do that. Oh, thanks. <laughs> look how high up you are. So yeah, I'm not actually, it's how my ca the camera's position makes me look. Oh no, and also I, my body's quite long. So are we heading over or are we I'll oh, see it tomorrow, aren't we? I'll yeah. oh, see it tomorrow, yeah. We'll have to come and pick you up, but you've got to be ready. Yeah. Can't be fanny in around. I'll have to send Dad a message to make sure he buys it. <laughs> oh no, we'll get there tomorrow and say, oh no, the buyer's get back in now, it's it, yeah, no, no, no. I'll be like, well, bollocks I'll be there. like, can I throw in an extra ten? An extra ten and we'll <laughs> Well the thing is, we're not looking to sell you know, there's no change with us, so. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's an attractive thing as well. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so this property's empty, so I don't think there's a chain the other side either. All oh, right. So the uh, done and dusted in six to eight weeks, in my opinion. Oh God. Anyway, that'll be so cool. Sorry. See, it's moved to me, the star of the show. The camera knows. Still haven't sang. Think something ridiculous. Mum's panther up her butt. They were. I, I walked through town singing that. Yeah. I had a massive wedgie going through Lincoln. We can't just roggle it out on Lincoln High Street. But I did sing quite loudly. My pants are up my butt. My Your pants are, are up your butt. butt. My pants, my pants, my pants, my pants, my pants. My pants are up my your butt. butt. And what was I singing last week? Oh God. The song where I tried to get you potty trained. Oh yeah, mum's song to help me potty train, use yeah. it with your kids. Georgie was like, was, she, she wasn't great to potty train, she was a bit, mm, a bit lazy really. But yeah, I would sing. Put your body on the potty do a poo. Put your body on the potty do a poo. Hey, hey. Put your body on the potty and show us what you got. You put your body on the potty do a poo. Very catchy that. Yeah. I stopped singing it last week. It means you're gonna still start singing it again. Put your body on the party do a poo. No, I can't be bothered to do it again. Oh, what is this? Oh god damn. Oh, this is a very quiet. No, so I let mom. What's he doing now? Oh, he, there's a car coming. Why's my camera so? Get up to the way, you bitch. Oh, he's turning. Yeah, imagine, right, if Dad manages to buy that place, the house tour, I could do a bungalow tour, and you would be amazed. I'd be staying every weekend. God. It's going to be such a painful process. We decide, yeah, actually, we really like this. We want to put an offer in. Mm. Dad won't put an offer in, like, for the asking price, because that's not what you do. And then they'll be like, no, and they'll be like, well, that's it. I'm not offering anymore. I'll be like, oh, please, offer some more. Yeah, because at the end of the day, <laughs> it's actually, in my opinion, worth the money with what it's at. I totally agree. Because it's so nice, like, the interior yeah. and everything and the size. The thing is, you've got to consider, is there some weird restriction on it? Is there some uh, yeah. issue with access to Which it? Which surely you know, they have access. to say that. Yeah. So, I mean, all that becomes apparent. You've got to have right. searches and such like. And, yeah. 
anyway, what will be will be. I've got to calm the hell down. If we don't succeed with this one, there'll be another one. It's just I'm impatient to move now. Good luck with that. Ah, oh, you thought nothing was coming, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> got my to-do list. I love a list. I've got at 4.45 film car video with mum. Tick. When I get back, snack and break. Need a break from this, so I'll have a snack when I get in. Then I've got to edit a third of this video. Do a workout clean the floors make sure houdini doesn't escape tonight yes my hamster escaped last night i came back oh, home at like 10 p.m it's not the first Mom. time back to my flat opened the door saw his cage he wasn't in it i was like damn <laughs> i saw his treat packet and he had literally nibbled a massive hole out of the treats packet oh, and he's nearly sassy. all of the treats are gone so he had obviously Bloody put hell. them in his pouches in his pouch, he put them in his pouch. Yeah. And then I looked everywhere for him and I couldn't hear him because he's escaped twice before and every time I've heard him nibbling something, so I could sense where he was. But this time I couldn't hear a thing. So I was looking around everywhere and I could see a little trail of sawdust. So I thought, oh God, like hopefully he's not gone down the floorboards because there was like a little corner oh, where he could do. Oh, Dini, oh God. And then I just pulled this bag next to his cage towards me and he was just asleep. What, next. sleeping it off I'd say. Yeah, he was just asleep next. I think he'd been I think he'd have been escaped a while. He got the he, treat sweats. Yeah, he'd eaten so many <laughs> treats. Yeah, exactly. He got the he got the treat sweats. <laughs> and he was just asleep, so I just picked him up. He was Obviously totally, he woke up. He must have been Christmas dinner full. Yeah, and he was and I just shoved him back in his cage. You want to give little Deeney some sugar free um, treats and see if it makes him flatulent. Oh god. Yeah. It'll be like this little balloon flying around the room. Yeah. yeah. That'll be me later. I've had three of those sweets now. I don't think I dare have another one. At least I've said I can get another hamster when Dean's died. Yeah. Oh, I'm going too fast. Even though it's not really his decision anymore, is no, it? No, it isn't. You're 20 years old. But I suppose the only reason why I was asking is because it was his flat. I know. Not mine then. Well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Dad's the one that would They object. always get called Dad's flats. Mine too. <laughs> yeah, but it's because he, he just associated with them a lot more because he just does more stuff with them. Yeah, I intend to change that. Well, he does all like the interviewing and everything and sorting out gas and electric. But yeah, I'd like to be more involved on a practical level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hoodie's not a bad tenant. She's not too bad. Yeah, I just sometimes that I'm place. late with the bills, but it's yeah. okay because it's just dad. <laughs> just dad. Yeah, literally, as soon as I get my YouTube money, it just goes straight away. Like every month when I get my YouTube money, it, I, it oh. just gets spent on food and um, bills. She's so on I the always, bones of her arms. I always have to be borrowing and then I get money, I pay that back off, then I borrow again. Yeah, or his brass eco. At least you know the value of money. Mm. It's. Uh, I, I think everybody should go through. But a real like people spell would in say, oh well, why don't you just not go out with your friends? Because obviously I, I went out with my friends on the weekend, and obviously spent some money. But it's like that's like a social activity. Oh, George, you've got to live a life. You've got to be go out sometime. Yeah, exactly. You just don't want to be out all the time. Because if I didn't go out with them, I would probably, I would have enough money and not have had to have borrowed. But. Then it's yeah. fun, isn't it? Yeah. And it creates memories, and your friends are important. Yeah. Love Steph and Emma, they're awesome. Hey, Steph and Emma. Shout out, Steph and Emma. Nearly drank a whole bottle of water in this journey. Stemma. I try and drink four of these a day now, and I've noticed a massive difference in my skin. My skin gets. I know. I knew that did it anyway, but my skin gets so much better when I drink like so much water. It's because before I wouldn't be thirsty, but you can't really wait until you're thirsty to drink water. You just have to drink it. Yeah, like, little, I'm not little thirsty. I struggle to get it down, but little and often. we get there. A We're nearly back. Nearly at the end of this drive with Mum. 
Put your body on the party do a poo poo poo. Put your body on the party do a poo poo poo. Put your body on the party and show us what you got. Put your body on the party do a poo poo poo. That's in the same league as Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. What are they feeling? That was not good. Oh, it is. <laughs> that, hello. Thanks. Oh yeah, mum just crashed. No, I did not. <laughs> just making sure everything's good. It's because we went up a hill. You slid. No crack screen. No. I mean, we good? I think we're good. Oh, that's a bit dangerous, just balancing it on there. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna end it in a minute anyway. Yeah. But yeah, we'll say goodbye and we'll come back for a part two, drive with mum. Yeah, let me know what you think to my hair, because oh, like, yes, Tom's really got... pissing me off. Oh, well, he isn't. I'm quite thick skinned when it comes to Tom. He's never Yeah, but he always says bad things. He's always negative. Even, but yeah. Yeah, even if he doesn't mean it, he'll still say it. <laughs> I can take it if people don't like it, but do be honest, you know. <laughs> like it. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, Bye. all.